the problem we run into on all of these issues comes down to accountability. We cannot have meaningful health care reform if we don't have accountability in how health care is delivered. We cannot have meaningful reform when it comes to child protective services and protecting families unless accountability is made part of that. I represent an organization called the Semmelweis Society and I am its national president. Uh, we primarily deal with doctors who have made decisions of conscience and have fought persecution because of that. I'd like to tell you today a story of a couple of our members. I spoke two days ago with a doctor in Rhode Island. Her name is Dr. Jerry Mills. Now, Jerry is a wonderful person. She is a talented pediatrician, a truly caring and uh, compassionate individual. Jerry was on call a few years ago at her hospital in Rhode Island when two young girls were brought into her uh, emergency room. These children had multiple injuries that were of high, high suspicion for child abuse. These children had healing spiral fractures, which is a, a particular type of injury where the arm or leg is twisted to wrench the bone and shatter it. It is almost absolutely indicative of abuse. Well, Jerry reported these kids after looking at their records and seeing that they had been to the emergency room over 20 times before with similar injuries. What Jerry didn't realize is that these children happened to be the children of a very powerful politician in the state of Rhode Island, Senate Majority Leader. Shortly thereafter, Jerry had her license suspended and was accused of being mentally ill. To this day, Dr. Mills, for her crime of protecting two injured children, has been unable to practice pediatrics. I spoke yesterday with a doctor in Pennsylvania. James Singer is a psychologist, and Dr. Singer had a patient who reported to him in the course of her psychotherapy that she had been raped and molested. Dr. Singer came to her aid and tried to shield her from that environment. As a result of that, Dr. Singer had his license suspended by the state of Pennsylvania. It so happened that the abusive party happened to be very well connected into the Pennsylvania State Troopers. Dr. Singer has now been unable to practice his chosen profession for the past several years as he fights this process. But one of the huge problems we have is for someone who has integrity, someone who stands up and says this is wrong, they face potentially outrageous persecution. They face the loss of their career. They face ostracization and stigmatization. It is very difficult for a healthcare professional to stand up and do what's right. There is a law that was passed in this building behind me 26 years ago called the Healthcare Quality Improvement Act. The general pre premise of this law was to protect doctors from doing difficult things and allowing them to look at quality of care. And it immunized hospitals and physicians from taking part in any peer review matter. The problem we now run into is what began as a, sh as a shield has become a very potent sword to drive through the heart of anyone who stands up and says, this is wrong. It strikes at the heart of anyone who wants to protect, who wants to help their patients, who wants to help you. So when we see matters of true abuse and true neglect, it is very difficult sometimes to follow those matters through. I stand here today as I said, to talk about the issues of accountability. It is certainly, we all acknowledge that many, many, many cases occur where there are real legitimate abuse 
And the problem is the system tends to ignore those. There are many, many cases as well, as everyone here represents today, where there are fantasies and, and, and things taken to ridiculous extremes that are used to push children through the system under inappropriate measures. What we need is accountability. And as long as this HICWA law is in place, your doctor cannot stand up for you without facing the destruction of their career, the destruction of everything that they've worked for their entire life. It makes it very, very difficult. So here in the shadow of the Capitol, I would like to ask Mr. Obama and Mr. Waxman, who wrote this law 26 years ago, to tear down the barricades that stand up and protect corporate profits, to tear down the barricades and the walls that protect evil and allow quality of care to truly exist, to allow physicians to stand up and do what is right to protect the injured. We deserve better, and we need better. Thank you.